Yeah. Right, sorry, I'm dancing along. I know, right? dancing to the music. <laughs> We've said many times on the show that the hearts of people in Tucson are unmatched. Your generosity really shines through, and I'm sure that during the Pledge for Pets this week, we'll see much of the same. We are about to see a perfect example of what we mean right now. Of course, Diana and Andrea are here with us, but also joining us is Mike Orcutt from Angel Valley Funeral Home. We want to welcome you to the show. You. Why does your company support the Humane Society of Southern Arizona? Well, we deal with death every day. If we could deal with dogs every day, I certainly would. Not in the sense of dogs dying and helping them, but just as far as uh, being able to help families, because pet families are fantastic. Pets get lost, their owners abandon them sometimes, or they don't want them anymore, which I can't understand. We have three of our own. They're pretty much all rescues. We keep two at the funeral home. One is a uh, blue healer. We have a cocker spaniel and a black lab. Oh, so like we, we love our animals. Yeah. We also do putting on the dog which they yep. do every year, mm -hmm. and also the golf tournament, so through the Humane Society and a bunch of other things in the community. Well, the Humane Society is a great choice as to where you guys want to put your efforts, but do you guys also do maybe some other charity work in the uh, community? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you've been to the Greek Festival, we do the Greek Festival. We've been a major sponsor there, I don't know, about the last six years. If you turn the little booklet you get when you go, it's coming up. Uh, we do a car show through our Rotary Club. Diane and I are in the car show together. Uh, that's at St. Greg's every year. That brings 25,000 people. It's, uh, we have the largest Rotary Club in Tucson actually in the state of Arizona. Last year we gave $131,000 back out directly from the proceeds of the car show. So that's just one other thing. We do stuff with uh, Tucson Meet Yourself, a HEPA, which is through the Greek church. My wife's an EWI. It's endless. We have <laughs> meetings upon meetings after we quit working for the day. Well, you're obviously a trailblazer when it comes to businesses here locally. Correct. Diana, why is it important for businesses like him to really help and give back? Well, it's, that's exactly it. And Mike, and is the example of setting the pathway of philanthropy for corporations. And again, we don't receive, we get no money from the government, we get no national funding, so everything that we do is the generosity of this community, including our corporate community. So he helps pave the way for others to say, yes, I see the value in that. Um, and who doesn't love animals? Right. So, but it, you know, and again, it's, 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 it's the programs for the animals, but it's also the services that you'll hear throughout these three days, the other services that we offer for two-legged people. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way we, the way we yeah, put that. Yeah, four-legged and two-legged. Now, we're asking people at home, just the everyday person, just like all of us, to pick up the phone, go online, make a donation. But now, if there is a business that's seeing what, they're, you know, what another oh, business challenge. is doing, yeah, that, that they would like to do that. But are there Ooh, other... Oh, we just said a challenge. Yeah. Oh, it, we <laughs> want to put a challenge out. Yes, yes. I love a healthy challenge. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> Other ways that businesses can get involved. There are, and as Mike mentioned, he's one of our sponsors for putting on the dog. So we have other events that we yeah. do for the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, putting on the dog, our sweat for pets that's coming up. But also companies will say, I want to do an adoption event in my parking a lot. Yeah. Andrea participates in that. She mentioned the FAST program. Exactly. So we'll take animals out and it's amazing how many animals we can get adopted in the parking lot of, of one of our corporate sponsors. Um, so they can do food drives if they want to do something where, you know, hey, here's a day that if you can bring in a, a pet food for the day, because that's one of the services we also offer to our community is we have a food bank. So once a month, those in need can come and get food for their animals. That's fantastic. Now, Andrea, the pledges are already starting to They're come in. They're coming in. You have some people that you'd like to thank already. So we have already raised $1,045, and that is, I haven't been updated in about five minutes, so hopefully it's even higher than that. We've got Joan Cox for the donation. Thank you, Joan. Woo! Maureen O'Hara. Phyllis Fossman. We've got Roberta, Martha, Christine, Madeline, Kimberly. Where are the guys at? <laughs> Jacqueline. Challenge oh, here we go. There's a Gary. Challenge. There's we've Mike's got, here. Yeah, we've got Jeff. We've got Gary. We have Mike. So many people that are calling in, making their donations, donating online. We even have some people just here at Channel 9. Terry. I'm looking at Terry. Yeah. <laughs> She's somewhere here. Terry, Angela, Barbara, Nancy, Kathleen, Carolyn, Sally, all of these people are pet lovers and they want to help with part of their community and that's what we're all about. So all of these calls that are rolling in, thank oh. you so much to everyone who's donated. I hope some of these are monthly donations, um, but whatever you can give, 
please give. If, you, if you've been thinking about donating to a cause, if you've been thinking of, about a way that you can help out, help out, today's the day to do it. Right now, call that number, um, and we're going to be here taking down your name. We're going to read them all on air. Yes. I think this is a great list. We want this list to grow and grow and grow yes. and grow. I hope, like you said, that was a little mm -hmm. while ago. I hope this list is already way longer by now. But exactly. Mike, you know, you can't put out a challenge without doing something yourself. I if, have a feeling. If <laughs> we're, we're, we are giving money to the Humane Society, yeah. and what I'd like to do, if anybody knows me out there, you, know, you you better come find me. If you saw me on here, you yep. better be giving them some money. That's <laughs> all I can say. I don't care if it's a hundred bucks. Everybody in my Rotary Club, if you're out there, I know they've got it. This is our donation. Oh. So that's a good start. That's awesome. $1,300. Yeah. Yeah. Angel Valley Funeral Home, definitely stepping it up. Mike, you Thank guys you. do so much for the community. You're doing such a big thing. What does it feel like, ladies, to see this huge check coming in from them? It's amazing. I yeah. mean, again, we couldn't be here without things like this. And, and yeah, it is making a huge step forward, and, and we couldn't thank you enough. And anybody else that I know in the funeral business in town, if you care about your community. Look at these He's challenges. Oh, oh, that's that's challenges. Do it. Some of them might be corporations. They got a little bit deeper pockets, but, uh, you know. Call right now. Yes. It'll be nice. You can call. You can go online. Just yeah. hit that donate button. There and you It'll take you right to the, the, to the form. <laughs> well, this is great. Look what a business can do. I love that you guys are local, local, local. You guys are giving oh, back Lord. to the animals and everybody else in the community. And this is something that a business can do. Make a, a challenge amongst your own coworkers. Workers. Yeah. Say, look, I'm going to put 50. What are you going to put down? Let's let's keep bidding amongst each other and definitely get the, those donations in. And we're going to keep tallying, right? On oh, yeah, absolutely. These three days. Totally. Yeah, if you make a donation, you, I want you to be watching this show because we're going to we're going to tell you thank you. Oh, we appreciate it. And we want to say thank you thank to you. Mike. Please Glad tell the rest of it. the staff that we send our huge thanks I will to do everybody. It. Thank you very much. Just a great one of these things that kind of touches <laughs> your heart, you guys. If you want to be a part of this, we already have all those people to thank for their pledges. And you could be one of those. All you have to do is make a donation. You can either call 881-7401. Again, that's 881-7401. Or go online to hssaz.org. And like Diana said, just hit that donate button right there.